I started fishing probably before I can even remember. Um, I mean, as soon as I probably could cast, you know. Uh, my dad was an avid fisherman and, and definitely spent a lot of time on the water. So even as an infant and as a small kid, I uh, was taken out and taken fishing from a very early age. So pretty much forever. Oh, I hooked my first steelhead when I was probably 15, 14 years old, casting a spinner. I remember exactly the place it was and the hole. Uh, definitely thought I was snagged at first. Uh, and it was a very memorable time. It was a very memorable moment. Uh, I know I'd worked really hard at it, trying to catch a fish before it even happened. You know, I'd spent a lot of time going to the river, just imagining there was fish there. And uh, yeah, I was probably, you know, 14, 15 years old. What keeps me interested probably more than anything is the constant ability to learn something. Um, the constant change, you know, it's very seldom you go and chase steelhead, whether it be in a different location or a different day, a different condition, where you don't see something you've never seen before. Um, or actually learn something, whether, whether it be about yourself or whether it be about the river or the fish or just mother nature in general, you know, the world around you. Um, I feel like that's really what drives me and what I really never get sick of is that that everlasting change in the sport. Um, just, just by the way you see it every day, you know, you go out and, and there's so many different factors to each day that you enjoy and that you appreciate uh, that it, it really never gets old. You know, there's always something new and something exciting that could happen that next day you go out. The feeling I feel when I, when I talk about being addicted to steelhead is, is um, I mean, it's kind of a deep feeling, you know, I think each angler and, and everybody out there has their own reasons and their own little things and their own little quirks of why they really are addicted to it. Uh, and what it feels like, you know, it's an empowering feeling. It's, it's the sense of want and the sense of adventure and the sense of, you know, what could be. How I would describe how it feels is, is I guess, kind of nerve wracking at times, kind of helpless at times. Really, it just depends on what the fishing is like, you know. It's either a sense of excitement or it's a, a sense of drive to be better. Um, it's a sense of wonderment on what you could do different and, and, and how you can change the way you fish, whether it be for a salmon or a steelhead or a bass or a trout. I'd say if I'm passing any steelhead fishing on at this point in my life, uh, being that I don't have any children or anything like that, or, or really, you know, immediate family that is at a young age. I'd say I'd, I'd try to pass it on to my fellow anglers and my clients, really. You know, I take the opportunity every day when people come out to fish with me to, to not only entertain and kind of inspire, but really to kind of solidify their feeling on why fishing is a good thing, you know. And, and why we should support it and why we should take care of the world around us. If I'm gonna pass it on to anybody, it's gonna be them, you know, cause I'm, I'm hands-on with those people every day, um, as well as my friends, you know, friends and family, to be able to take people out and show them your passion and share a little bit of yourself and leave that small impression. You know, you'll, you'll, never, you'll forget a, a party, you'll forget somebody's birthday, but you'll never really forget a fishing hole. Um, and you'll never forget the times that you spent in those situations, you know, with that one photo you have of that fish with you and your buddy next to each other. Uh, I feel like those are the things that are most important in life uh, and the things that some people don't get to experience enough in life, you know. Nobody ever says, I wish, wish I would have worked another day. I'd say I would have, wish I would have fished another day. And as long as that drive is still in humans and still in the people around me, that's who I want to share it with is, is the people that, that don't get to experience it as much and, and don't get to appreciate what we really have. My favorite part of the Alaska trip is probably swinging. You know, I think it's any swinging up those steelhead on the spay rod. Um, that's kind of a style of fishing that a lot of people will go to after they feel very comfortable with their with their fishing abilities and and it's a harder method to actually catch steelhead with and having the opportunity to step into the into the river and swing a fly in front of a number of steelhead that you know every cast I knew I had a chance of getting one and I was shaking the whole time you know that 
that's probably the most impactful thing that happened to me on that trip was was standing waist deep in the river and and swinging my spare rod on more fish than I'd ever had the opportunity to in my life so that that's one one moment that I'll never forget is being there with my friends and and swinging up into a beautiful wild steelhead. Why did I go on a steelhead adventure to Alaska? I really probably don't have time to tell you all the reasons, um, but just the sense of adventure, you know, the the sense of heading into an opera, you know, a situation that is really unclear. You know, when I go on any one of my fishing adventures and, and travel across the world to do things, I'm not necessarily doing it for that fish I'm going to hold, but more so for everything in between. You know, all the things I'm going to experience, the friends I'm going to make, the connections that I'll, I'll have that will last a lifetime. Um, that's what really steps me out the door and, and gets me to pack my bags is, is all the unknown in between hooking a fish, you know, because when you step off that plane or you or you get out of that bus or wherever you are in the world and, and you look around you and you realize where you really are at, you know, you've stepped into another realm and another world and another country uh, and there's no certainty, you know. A wise man once told me the only thing for certain in this world is gravity and, and I try to stick to that. So you know, being able to walk out of the door and not really know what you're getting yourself into is, is what gets me excited to travel and, and go do things like this trip in Alaska. I think more so than just one individual that I, I got to kind of further a bond with on this trip to Alaska, it was more so the sense of the entire group. Um, you know, it's no secret that I've come in to addicted, you know, at a, at a latter part in its history to where there's this massive group of friends and, and guys that live near each other and grew up with each other that I was a stranger, you know, from, from day one, from the first Addicted movie. Um, you know, I wasn't really close with anybody. I didn't have that, that personal tie and that personal connection with anybody. So getting to go out and, and crab and go to a really sacred place with Sean and, and spend time, you know, with guys that I really didn't know from Adam I think really kind of is what I valued more than any connection with one person, you know, getting that sense of, of family and togetherness that, that the whole group already had before I had come into it um, was kind of a special moment for me. It kind of solidified, you know, the relationship with, with everybody in the group for me, so. Phil, don't bring a knife to a gunfight, man. <laughs> Um, when the haters comment on my hair, um, I just got one thing to say, man. It's big hair, big fish, you know? Why should people go see Addicted Alaska? One, to support the next Addicted Adventure movie. <laughs> um, but two, just to be entertained. Uh, maybe be inspired a little bit. Maybe learn something. Um, but really just to have fun, you know? I think why I spend so much time doing this stuff is because I really like to watch what comes out of it, you know? And the, the moments that get shared and the things that happen on these trips and on when we film these adventures is stuff that you really, we can't write it, you know? You couldn't script this stuff. Uh, it is a true adventure and it's, it's, a, it's a true happening on how fishing is, you know? And, and how spending time with your friends is. And, um, it's a really fun way to, to kind of feel like into the moment and, and have the ability to, to jump on, on an adventure with somebody right behind their back and experience something that's once in a lifetime uh, and it's something that was once in a lifetime for us. So being able to share it with, with people that enjoy watching our content and our, our shows and our, our everything, our supporters, it's, it means a lot to me to get to do that. Um, that's why you should go see it because you'll love it. <laughs>